Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write python program to merge mails so guys when we want to send the same invitations to many people the body of the mail does not change only the name can be changed and maybe the address needs to be changed over here so mail merge is a process of doing this instead of writing each mail separately to different individuals we have a template for a body of the mail and a list of names that we merge together to form form all the mails so guys this we are going to check with the help of examples as well what we are going to do is we will be having two files that is one file will be the names file it will have the list of all the names so as you can see for example we are having five names over here so we are going to take each name from this file and create a mail body out of it and then the second file we have the body.txt file over here so as you can see we are greeting first of all hope you are doing good and then this is a test mail so this is a simple test mail that we have written over here so guys we are going to write mails to different individuals first of all we will be having the salutations with different individual names and then followed by this body text that we have written in this body file so guys over here the names file it is containing the names of the recipients and then the body file it contains a body of the mail so guys let us check this with the help of the python program how we can merge both these files in order to create mails to be sent to different individuals so guys first of all we will have to open the names file so guys first of all we will be using the with keyword over here followed by open which will help us in order to open the file now guys inside this what we have to do is the first parameter is the name of the file so over here we have to give the entire path where the file is present so over here i'll simply copy the path over here and paste this inside the double quotes now guys since we are having a single backslash we need to escape it by using the two backslashes so over here wherever there's a single backslash i'm just providing another backslash over here so that there are two backslashes and then followed by in the end what we have to do is we have to provide the name of the file that is names.txt so over here we will say names followed by dot and then txt now guys this is the first parameter that is a name of the file that we have provided to this open function now guys the second parameter is the mode in which we want to open this file so we provide comma followed by space and then as you can see open text mode there is a r character which means we want to open it in the read mode over here so inside the double quotes we provide r so that the program knows that we are opening this file in the read mode over here and then guys after this close bracket we have to provide as keyword and then followed by a name that we want to refer to while accessing the content of this file so guys over here we will say names underscore file in this case so basically we are going to use this as a variable name in order to access this particular file that is names.txt now guys after this at the end we have to provide a colon and then inside this again we have to open another file this time it will be the body file in this case so what we have to do is again we will be using the with keyword followed by space and then open and then guys again we will have the path so over here i'll simply copy the same path since both the files are present in the same directory and then i'll paste this over here the only change is i will have to change the name of the file that is instead of names.txt we will provide body.txt in this case followed by comma and then we have to open it in the read mode so over here double quotes and inside this we have to provide the character r which represents the read mode of the file and then guys followed by as and then we name it as body file over here so body underscore file in this case now guys after the semicolon what we have to do is we have to read the content of the body file so over here on the next line we simply provide the variable name that is body it is equal to we use this body file name that we have provided over here that is body underscore file so over here after the equal to operator we use the body file which is referring to the body file over here followed by dot and then guys we have something called as read method that reads the content of the entire file over here so we use this read method followed by open and close brackets so that the entire content of the body file is read into this body variable now guys what we have to do is we also have to read the names inside the names file over here that we have just opened so what we will be doing is we will be going through a for loop over here so we say for name in 
names file in this case and then colon we will create the entire mail body in this case so we will name the variable as mail over here followed by equal to the very first thing is we have to provide a salutation so we say hello and then followed by space and then we should get the first name from this names file which is present inside of this name variable so over here we say plus followed by name and then followed by dot guys we can also use the strip method in order to remove the leading and trailing space characters if it is present it also removes the slash and characters if they are present for that particular string so over here we will be using the strip method and then followed by we can simply provide comma as well over here and then we have to go on the next line so two times we will provide the slash and slash and character so that the control flow goes to the next line and then after the salutation that is hello john for example we have to provide the body which we have already read from the body file over here so after this we simply provide plus and then followed by body in this case so guys over here we have provided the salutation and then we go to the next line after providing a comma and then we append the body string over here which was read from the body file over here and then this mail variable will be having the entire mail body that we want to send so what we can do is simply we can create a file over here now in the write mode so inside this for loop while we are creating the mail body over here what we can do is we can again create a new file so where open and then this time what we can do is again we will be using the same directory over here so i'll simply paste the entire path and then what we have to do is we will create separate files for all the names that are present inside this names file over here and guys the file names will be same as the names of these people over here so what we can do is after providing this entire path we can again use this name over here that is a name variable in order to name that file while we are creating that file so over here we provide plus and then again we provide a name followed by dot and then strip in order to remove any extra slash and characters or the space characters as well and then followed by dot txt over here so again we have to do plus followed by double quotes dot txt in this case so guys basically inside this directory we are creating a text file with that name that we have just read from the names file over here and then guys what we have to do is after comma we need to open this file in the write mode so this time we provide w in this case which represents the write mode of the file and then guys after this we again name this file so as and then we use the mail file in this case so basically this mail file variable will be used in order to write the mail content so over here what we will be doing is we can simply provide mail file over here followed by dot and then we can simply use the write method in this case so this write method will take the string as the parameter which will be written in this file which we have just open in the write mode so over here we will be using this mail string in this case so we provide this mail variable over here so guys after the execution of this for loop all the names that we have just read from the names file will have their individual files having the mail content and they will be addressed by using their own names over here just like how we have programmed it using this line of code so guys let me just save this file now and before running this we can provide a print statement after the end of the program over here so we will simply print we can say mails return successfully so we will have this string printed on the console after all the files are generated so guys let me just save this file now and before running this code what i will do is i'll just show you that we have only five files over here that is a dot txt file more five files will be created with these names over here which will have the content of the mail in this case so let me just run this code now so when we run this code as you can see mails return successfully is being printed over here and when we go to the directory as you can see these files are getting created that is harry john messi and then we have peter and then ronaldo and then guys what will be the content of these files let us check that when we open this it says hello harry hope you are doing good this is a test mail regards programming for beginners so we are addressing harry over here in this case and then if we open another file let's say we open john file over here it says hello john and then again the other file that is messy it says hello messy and then the content of the 
mail is same over here and then for the other two names as well as you can see we have hello ronaldo over here for the ronaldo file and then for peter as well when we open this it says hello peter in this case so guys when you have multiple people to be invited or to be addressed in a same mail body we can use this python program in order to read the names from one file and read the body of the mail from another file and merge both the content of the files to create another result file which can be sent as a mail to those individual recipients so guys please make sure that you practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is python program to print inverted half pyramid pattern so stay tuned